It's a partnership. Every patient we see together is really a partnership in understanding what that specific dentist and that specific ceramist can really achieve. You don't want to walk out and people say, oh my god, what did you do to your teeth? Right. You want people to say like, oh my god, you look great, what did you do? Dentists, they are scientists, you know, they are, they, they are, they are experts in biology and science. But coloring of the ceramics and uh, how it should be baked and then how much translucency or opacity should be in there to look good or I mean, those are things, uh, that's the job of the ceramist. A typical partnership basically breaks down into the dentist usually is having some of their own thoughts on the aesthetic and functional aspects, and then a lot of information goes to the ceramist, and then the ceramist will weigh in in his aesthetic vision, and then there's a collaboration between the dentist and the ceramist. And I think that's very important for patients to understand. So they know I'm making their teeth. It's nice, it's yours, and we don't want to kind of wipe out you. For Jason and I specifically, you know, we've worked together for 12 years now, and we're very vocal with each other. A little exaggerated on right. that side. Right. Drifted a little too far. Yeah, yeah. He's really giving me peace of mind in doing dentistry. And I don't think that any dentist is really doing someone's teeth without their partner, which is the ceramist. Better clinicians would prefer uh, the patient to go and communicate the color with the ceramist. Uh, being a master ceramist, is we never actually get to make the same thing. Beauty is very difficult to define. You will have to feel the sensitivity of what it means for each person. I think right now the way we work together is I have my role with the patient in trying to communicate their needs as much as I can give to him and his role is basically to bring it to life. 